Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ruben from UIUX Creative. For those who don't know me, my name is Ruben Cespedes. I'm a senior product designer with 15 years of experience designing solutions. In today's topic, we're gonna get you started in Adobe XD under five minutes. Yes, you heard me right, under five minutes, and you're gonna be an expert. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so Adobe XD, let's talk about Adobe XD. Adobe XD is a powerful tool for your whole UI UX design process. You can create low, high fidelity designs, you can create wireframes, you can create interactive prototypes, animations, and a lot more. I can tell you straight up, this is one of my favorite apps for all my design projects. You can collaborate with other designers, you can collaborate with PMs, developers, uh, create prototypes for stakeholders, um, create prototypes for developers. It's just a great application. I just love it. All right, if you're ready to jump in, let's get started. All right, so this is the whole application. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing so that way you don't get overwhelmed with all these panels and stuff. So the first thing I want you to pay attention is to your left is your tool panel. This is where you're gonna go and pick the select tool, rectangle, your line tool, your pen tool, your text tool, your artboard, your zoom. And then down here, it's uh, a, a very important, it's a very important section where you have your assets panel where you're gonna have all your colors, your gradients, your character styles, your components, etc. The second one is your layer, layers pa panel, where you're gonna have all your artboard and all your layers underneath. So let's say if I create something right now, and let's see, let's just pick a color here so we can see it. And just duplicate this and just duplicate this. You're gonna see here your all your layers, and you can you know hide them if you want them. You can lock them in place. Uh, you can do a lot more. Um, yeah, and then the, the last one is your plugins. Your plugins are very, it's a very powerful tool that you can use. Um, let's say if you want to use an add in, like a, let's say an icon for a home page, for example. Um, you can just type in home, or let's say in this case, an arrow. Just press enter. And you just select the one that you like. Say this one. Hold down shift and grab it by the corner and just make it make it bigger. Make it bigger. Um, you can change the color here, but I, I'm gonna get to there uh, in a second. All right, so as you can see here, your left panel here, your tool panel is very, like you're gonna use this a lot, uh, which is great. Then if we head over to the right panel here, it's kind of like your properties panel, where you have all your alignments and all your width and height, um, rotation, you can rotate things, you can use here percentages, but also you can just click on things and, and just like rotate it when you see those arrows coming up on the corners when you hover over the object. Um, let's see here what else we have. We have a responsive layout. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in a, in a, for, in a future video. Uh, you have your appearance here, which is um, your, you can control your opacity here, you can control um, your, your text, if you have text, let's say we pick text tool and we uh, type something, let's say UI UX creative, for example. Um, all right, uh, let's hit this button and make this bigger. For example, if you want to change your your text, your fonts, you go here, you type your font, boom, you got it. If you want to change the, the color of your font, go here pretty quick, change it, you know, pick your color. Cool. Um, then we, we keep going down into your appearance where you can add a border around it, you can add a shadow if you want to, and you can even blur your stuff. If you pick here, 
and you just blur it if you wanted to. There's a lot of options here. So this is kind of like to get you started on Adobe XD and you kind of know like the whole interface by now. I know there's a lot of like options here um, and you don't know what to do with it. But later on, you're gonna learn how to use each individual one of those options. So that way you can create better things. I'm gonna show you a lot more in other future videos. Um, but this is just to get you started. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this. I see you next time. Bye-bye.